I'm Jess. I'm Jess Lucero. I'm yes. back. I like the applause. There it is. Burr, 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 burr. What's up, everyone? I'm Jess Lucero. Jess Lucero here. Yeah, you start dating Kim Kardashian, and next thing you know, you gotta hire security. Welcome to real fame, Pete Davidson. Ye released a song with the game called Easy. And Kanye, what is this graphic? It's actually disturbing. I'm over here trying to hide it so you don't have to look at it. Safe to say Lizzo is taking over. She's producing her own reality show called Watch Out for the Big Girls. It all started when Jack Hart Carlo and Pete collabed on SNL last March to a parody of Eminem's Without Me. They were explaining NFTs and I still don't get it. Riri stepped it up even more since announcing ASAP Rocky and her were expecting. Just her pregnancy announcement fit was $30,000. And people were thinking the pink puffer was maybe an ode to the gender of the baby because you know gender norms, but let's not go down that rabbit hole. Olivia Rodrigo has been up to quite a lot lately. Grammy nominated, a new Disney Plus film releasing soon and she might have a new boo, but I'll never forget when he was shaking while he met Sweetie. Why are you shaking? Doja Cat being the people celebrity that she is has done a perfect example. We're not gonna say their name because we're not sponsored. So instead we'll call them Schmacko Show. In order to fully understand the Kravis obsession, we have to go back to 2006 when Kim K was still Paris Hilton's assistant. In 2015, Travis actually admitted that he was attracted to Kim Kardashian. Travis, Rob Kardashian, man. Hunter Schaefer and Dominic Fike. They've been spotted a few times holding hands. We've seen a couple of Dumois posts. The Lions changed their name to Lions because of you. They made that shirt that you mentioned. And then they gave you and your fiance tickets to their game. What was that experience like? People often mistake you for Michael B. Jordan, yeah, yeah. for Trey Songz. I mean, it's. I'm really sorry. That's yeah. that's very unfortunate yeah, that you get yeah. mistaken for them all the time. Like you it's, would love to be yourself, you know? It's whatever. Like the whole D'Amelio family. There's always something new with them at this point. Charlie apparently did the WAP dance. It's sitting in her drafts. She needs her mom to give her approval before she can post this video. Roman said that he's gonna. Um, salsa at the end of this oh um, that's news to me but we'll see <laughs> yeah you guys didn't hear it but i swear it happened a minute ago lady gaga's dog walker and friend was out walking her three dogs late last night around 9 40 p.m out in hollywood britney spears she has a conservatorship where her dad is in charge of her he makes all of her financial decisions he makes all of her everything decision decides when she's gonna perform all of that. TikTok has really brought a lot of stuff to light. Brings us to our first topic for tonight's episode. We're gonna talk about trust issues, specifically in tonight's episode, mother-daughter issues between mm -hmm. Sophie and Delilah. Forbes released their list of the top seven paid TikTokers right now. And tell me, I am not the only one who expected Charlie to be number one on the list. I think we kind of just have to jump right on into it and talk about all of the different food that's here at Dodger Stadium. Ooh, so, there's a lot of good food here. Yeah, there's a lot of good food. And you said you come here all the time. So if you could recreate any Dodger meal on my drunk kitchen, what would it be? Uh, uh, it's going to have to be the uh, garlic fries. Yeah, guys. Top recruits, yes. And guess what? This week, I got to go to St. John Bosco, which just like Beyonce says, if I were a boy, this would be my alma mater. Let's take a look. This is what you guys have to do for us tonight during Friday Night Fireworks when they play this disco music loud and proud for you guys. Thank you so much, Joe. Now, guys, doesn't it feel great to be back home? I'm excited to watch this entire season, starting with today, of course, my first day hosting Dodger Insider. So thank you guys nice. so much for watching. For Rowan Kavner, for Jessica Lucero, that's going to do it for us. Jessica, thank you. Thank you.